Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to turn this boring RF based wireless doorbell into a Wi Fi enabled doorbell for less than $5. Well, a lot of you may be using this as a doorbell. The problem with these is that you need to be close to the receiver to actually hear the bell. In case your house is slightly bigger or too noisy, you definitely wouldn't hear it. There are smart doorbells out there but are too expensive and have cameras which not everyone requires. So I have come up with a solution to turn this into this. Once we do that, the possibilities are endless. But for starters, I'll show you how to get a notification or call on your mobile when there is a bell press. These are the things you would require. All these will go inside the bell. The following are the tools required. We'll be using Arduino IDE for programming the ESP and IFTTT webhooks to trigger the notification. Let's see what's inside a doorbell first. The transmitter uses a tiny 12 volt battery. The receiver on the other hand uses standard ones. We will be placing our custom device into the receiver since it will be placed inside the house so probably closer to Wi-Fi router. Uses two AA batteries and hence gives us slightly above 3 volts which is perfect for our module and it has enough space. Well, compared to the transmitter at least. The PCB has the RF receiver and a music generating IC within it. There is one button to choose between various tones and two wires emerge out of the speaker or LED. We will tap into one of these wires to detect a signal whenever the doorbell is pressed. Now let's see the workflow first. When someone presses the doorbell, the receiver will activate waking up the ESP which in turn connects to the webhooks through Wi-Fi sends a notification in IFTTT and goes back to sleep. The deep sleep is very important since we don't want to be consuming battery juice in idle state. Let's start with configuring the webhooks in IFTTT. To do this, you need to download the IFTTT app from Play Store or App Store and sign up. Go to IFTTT.com on your PC and create an applet. Add webhooks as a trigger, keeping the event name as DB pressed or anything you like and remember this. Then add notification as a response and type in whatever you want to be shown on the screen. Now, go to ifttt.com slash maker underscore webhooks and click on documentation. It will take you to a page where your personal key is shown. Note this down and also if you want, you can test your applet you just made by entering the event name and clicking on the test button. Next, let's go to the setup in Arduino IDE. In order to program the ESP, you will need to add the additional board manager URLs in preferences. And then download the boards. Once you are done with these steps, restart the Arduino IDE and you should see the ESP boards in the board manager. Next, add this library. It's ESP8266 webhooks by Rupak Porter and then the Wi-Fi manager library from the description below. This was originally written by Sabu from GitHub. Once all this is done, open the code I have written, add the key and event name from your IFTTT applet and compile it to see if the libraries have been 
installed correctly. Let's upload the program to ESP and test it. To do that, you need a programmer which can put ESP into programming mode. In case you have a normal serial interface like me, add this button. While plugging in the programmer with ESP on it, press and hold the button. Once it powers up, you can release the button. Basically, when GPIO0 is grounded on power up, the ESP goes into programming mode. Now, select the right port and generic ESP8266 as the board and click upload. Once the upload is successful, unplug the ESP from the programmer, open the serial port and plug it again. This will start the board in boot mode and the code will start running. For the first time it runs, it will create an access point name ESP doorbell and the password for it will be password. Connect your phone to it and then it will open up a sign up page or you can go to 192.168.4.1 and you will see this page. Click on configure and then enter your home Wi-Fi's credentials. Click save. Now you should see a success message on the serial port. Next, let's see the circuit part. It's very simple. All you have to connect is positive and negative supply directly since the two AA batteries voltage range is within the operational range of our ESP board. And then one signal pin from the speaker pin of the doorbell. This is how basically we are detecting and waking up our ESP every time someone presses the bell. But before attaching the components, make sure you remove the batteries to avoid any short circuit. I have chosen to solder all components to a PCB to make it more neat, but you can solder directly if you want to. As you can see, I have connected the speaker output to the reset pin, VCC and ground. Once you are sure that every connection is perfect, attach the batteries and check if it works by pressing the bell button. Voila, it works. Now, this is the power consumption details of the doorbell with and without ESP. I suggest you remove the power LED on the ESP since it's always on and consuming power for no useful reason. Now, the possibilities are endless once you connected it to IFTTT. I have even managed to make a bot call me in Telegram in case someone presses the bell button. Two hours later. Respond and open door only after verifying. Someone is at your door. Please respond and open door only after verifying. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.